Hey, what's good with y'all boys, man? What's good with y'all boys? Y'all already know who it is. Nemo! Y'all already know who Nemo is. Who is Nemo? First reaction channel, Smoking Papers. We know who Nemo is, okay? Next time I'm gonna hit you in the one that wink and not the one that stinks. You feel me? You feel me? I know you feel me. But, um, hold on. Where is my goddamn... I forgot. I don't know where it's at. But anyway, uh, what's up? First reaction channel, Smoking Papers, man. Hope y'all been staying out the way, smoking some, staying prayed up, one day at a time, staying sane. It's going to be all right. Um, smoke some. Smoke some, I promise you. It's going to be all right. Um, to the ones that don't believe, though, one day at a time, bro. You know it's a way. If there's a will, there's a way. But we got some. We got a. Uh, we got some different. Actually, look. That's what I meant. To, I found that bitch. My phone was behind me the whole time. I meant to show y'all this, y'all. Look at this whole shit. Look at this whole shit, y'all. Look at look at this. Look what YouTube hit me with. I ain't take that. Stop. I ain't take that King Von video down. Yeah. Look how they did me. I don't know why. It say your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. Because it's your first time, this is just a warning. If it happens again, your channel will get a strike and you won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for a week. And they ain't say why. They ain't say why. But that King Von video, bro, that I did, that bitch was at like, a, it was at like a thousand fifteen views, bro, in four days. That bitch, dead ass, that shit was getting like 200 views a day, bro. That shit was going stupid. They took it down and didn't even say why. It was age restricted and everything, bro. All my videos are because I smoke weed in my videos. So if you not logged in, you can't even watch my content unless you 21 and up. I mean, 18 and up. I can't possibly know why. I don't know why they did that shit, bro, but it wasn't me, y'all. So here we go. The final hours of OTF Nunu. Let's see what they talking about. It sounds familiar. I sound like I remember Nunu. It is with great sadness, great shock, great disbelief that I have to announce that OTF Nunu has been caught lacking at the mall and is now deceased. Why he say it like that? Like that shit was funny or like it's a game. Why he say it like that? Great sadness, great shock, great disbelief that I have to announce that OTF Nunu has been caught lacking at the mall and is now deceased. But it was reported that since OTF Nunu was shot and killed on Saturday afternoon and midday at the mall, which was May 31st, after that happened, in the next four hours, there was a span of over 10 people shot in Chirac. May 29th, 2014. 21-year-old MacArthur Swindle, known to the music industry and his family by the aliases OTF Nunu and OTF Nuski, was about to have his life changed. It was the day his grind and talent as an artist paid off and got him recognition. I remember that. Yeah, I do remember that. OTF Nuno, that's Lil Dirk's cousin. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Hell yeah, I remember that. That's crazy, bro. I remember that. I think I was 15. Yeah, I was, it was the uh, it was going the end of freshman year. It was the end of freshman year, going into sophomore year that summer. I remember that. Cause that September. That following September, Pone died. LA Capone ended up dying. That following September. As a rapper with the No, that was the year, it was 2013, the September before. It was 2013, I think Capone died. To, to make it big in the industry. To that end, he signed a record deal, which was about to launch his career into the next phase of success. By all accounts, it was a joyous time that deserved celebration and a new trajectory Bro. In the upward direction of life, Why are you talking just like as that? his cousin and rising star at the time, Lil Durk. Lil Durk heard his talent on the mic and instantly pushed him to pursue a career, knowing he had what it takes to make it. How you come, come about rapping? How long you been rapping? This Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I just started rapping. You know what I mean? I ain't even taking this shit serious. Why not? I was politicking with Durk. He just say, "Man, just 
With Dirk already on the rise as one of Chicago's most promising talents at the time, Newski had the right connection to help him to the top. So it was only right for him to sign that deal to his cousin's label and set a course to chart to stardom. The two not only made music as solo acts, but also... Cannot go for me. Man, shut up. Fuck. Why did he ask you that? From time to time, collaborated on joint songs together, and the energy and chemistry was clear on tracks like At The Top. You can say it was a dream for many living in gang-infested environments to find a way that would take them from the streets to a place where they could be financially stable Man, and get themselves I'm watching and first 48 or some shit, away bro. from the danger that plagued their life. OTF Nunu was no stranger to how important it was to make it out. He had felt the backlash of losing those dear to him and was armed and ready for any oncoming feud with rivals to his OTF affiliates, which stood for only the family. Am I the only one Sadly, that's bothered by how he talking? Am I the only one that's bothered by how bro talking? Like, that shit ain't bothering y'all? Like, why he sound like that, bro? Why he reading like that? He can't say that shit in a normal, in a normal tone, in a normal voice? <laughs> OTF Nunu and Lil Durk would never get to celebrate his accomplishments of signing a record deal because the next two days would see Nunu take his last breath when a rival gang ambushed him and took his life. It was Saturday, May 31st, 2014. 3.10 p.m. Saturday, May 31st, 2014. I'm from Flint, Michigan. I'm from Michigan, so school get out in June and we go back in September. So, yeah, I remember that, yeah. That was, he died, that, it was like the last, like the, like two weeks of my freshman year. That's when Nunu died. It was two weeks, but the last two weeks of freshman year, I went to Carmen. The ones that know, that's from the city, I know what I said. I went to Carmen Ainsworth freshman year. So, I was thinking the last two weeks of freshman year, that, that, I remember that. Yeah, that was when Nunu died. OTF Nunu was at a store with Chicago. Because I remember, Pone died beginning of freshman year, which was September of 2013, because school started. He died like two weeks after school started. I think school started for us like September, like I want to say what, the 9th or the 10th, and he died like like two weeks later, after, my, after like freshman year, two weeks later after school started. L.A. died. I was like, what the Chicago fuck? Chicago producer Young Chop. Young Chop was giving him praise for his musical release thus far. It seems everyone who came across his music saw his potential and talent and was happy to see him flourishing and paving his way in the industry. Little D. I never got to hear his music, y'all. Recommend a good song by him. I never got to hear his music. But y'all, what's the good song? Young Chop, no. That conversation would be one of the last anyone would have with OTF Nunu. What's so crazy, bro? I was just with Nunu that the same day, like 20 minutes before he got shot like we was at a store and i was telling him like bro you going crazy because this the time he just dropped the um the song with him and dirt they was going crazy on the fuck, back and forth after leaving the company of young chop it's alleged he was with his cousin little dirk other sources allege that he was instead with his girlfriend and they decided to head to the shopping mall in chatham the vicinity how y'all not have proof if y'all got camera footage and stuff? If he died at a mall or it went down in the public place, bro, there's a camera around. How y'all can't confirm is if he was with another girl, I mean, if he was with another man, his brother or Dirk or his cousin, whoever, or if he was with a shorty. How y'all can't figure that out with cameras at a mall? This was 2014. We're, we're way past the new advancement of technology. There's cameras around. How y'all ain't got no... City of the 700 block of East 87th Street in the south side that shit ain't OTF Nunu and those in his company would arrive minutes later and he would park his white SUV in the parking lot this was said to be either because he was waiting for the person he came with to return or he was about to be on his way to go inside either way whichever decision kept him alone in the vehicle for just enough time for his assailants to carry out their mission unbeknownst to OTF Nunu at that time, there were people hot on his trail who caught wind of his location and decided it was the perfect opportunity to take another life belonging to their rivals. Approximately 3.20 p.m., as OTF Nunu sat unsuspectingly in the SUV, the suspect crept up to the side of the vehicle, where at that point, they brandished their firearm and pulled the trigger. 
OTF Nunu was struck multiple times about his body before his attacker fled. Nunu would try to escape, but was too injured to drive, and the vehicle hit the front of a store in the mall at 87th and Cottage Grove. An autopsy would reveal the... So what's this? Uh, okay, so this stuff. Uh, May 14th, in the city of Jerry Park, I seen an on the, on the remains of McCart Slender and determined the cause of murder with multiple gunshot wounds. Homicide, okay. Stern examined a gunshot wound. Entered right side of head. Damn. The first one? What? First one, entered right side of head, behind ear, and exited right front of neck. So it entered behind his ear, so it hit and ricocheted down. Entered out his neck. So it hit behind his ear and ricocheted down. Second gunshot will enter left side of head. Dang, bro. Oh my goodness. Left side of head. Behind ear and exit out the left front neck. Oh my lord. It was over with with the first one. Yet alone the second one, it was no chance. Third one, left lower thigh above kneecap and exited side of left calf. So that's the chance he was going to bleed out regardless. What It could have hit that femoral artery in your thigh. What? Fourth one, entered and lodged upper, left upper side of head. So that means nine times out of ten, he fell over on the door and they were still shooting. Or he fell on the steering wheel. Left upper side of head. Fifth one, entered top of head behind hairline so right on the crown so he fell on the window entered top of head at hairline damn bro four head shots my nigga it was over at the first two g damn severity of otf nunu's wound close range too it was over at the first one if we being honest what the other folk what, what the rest was for damn he was injured in the head neck thigh arm and chest Officers in the Cook County Medical Examiner Office stated OTF Nunu passed on the spot, but conflicting news of how the no shit that happened would soon begin circulating online by an alleged nurse that was at the scene. According to her, she witnessed OTF Nunu get shot and crash his vehicle into the store. When she described seeing the people who shot him leave the scene, it hints that there may have been more than one shooter or his assailants were in the getaway car waiting for him to finish the assassination to leave. The woman then stated, Nah, he walked. Like, come on, bro. Like, you. that's why I said, I feel like I'm watching First 48. He trying too hard. She went to OTF Nunu, and when she got there, he was still breathing and had a faint, corroded pulse. She would convey the same information to the officers who had given her gloves to check for signs of life. It was then she got into... Do you want to learn how to train? My gear to try to preserve Nunu's life. She claimed that a Caucasian officer gave her the green light to do what she could to try and keep OTF Nunu alive. But as she was about to proceed, she states that an African-American officer contradicted that order and told her not to touch OTF Nunu as it's an active crime scene. The eyewitness then claimed she again tried to plead with the officer to let her provide assistance as OTF Nunu was still breathing and had a pulse. At that moment, she continued her account, stating that the Caucasian officer tried to tell the other officer to let her do what she can to save his life, but the African-American officer pushed back, stating that the woman cannot prove her credentials as a medical professional, so she cannot touch Nunu. How she can't? How she can't? If she flashed the card or whatever she said, how she can't prove? You ain't even let her, you ain't even first let her see. You ain't even let her try. You ain't even first let her try. 15 minutes later, she stated that OTF Nunu would stop breathing and his heart stopped beating as he succumbed to his injuries. Yeah. Soon, the place was swarming with cops and the crime scene was yellow taped off. His cousin, Lil Dirk, would arrive to meet his cousin lifeless in the vehicle and did what any human being who lost a loved one would do, break down due to the pain and uncontrollable grief. How'd you feel when you heard about the news? The news reports would begin circling the internet and blogs. And many others, like Young Chop, felt the sorrow Lil Durk was feeling when they heard the news. Like, I got a call talking about Nunu got shot. 
I'm like, stop playing with me. Like, stop it. I just seen him. Because I was getting ready for to do a show out in um uh, It be Chicago. like that, bro. That's how life be. You be just with somebody and boom, it's raps, bro. You be just with somebody. That's how it be. Oh, well. In suburbs, not well. And I'm like, bro, stop playing with me. I'm like, please stop playing with me. And they like, yeah, he got shot. And I was like, damn. I was just with, bro. We was just in a, just go crazy in the studio and too. Hurting my feelings, bro. I cried and everything. In Nunu's passing, it was reported that upwards of 10 people were shot within the next couple of hours. And many feared it was due to retaliation. No. Nah. Is OTF new? No shit, Sherlock. Yes, when you shoot somebody that got that much potential in the hood, they got that much potential to put food and money in that many people's pockets and mouths. Yeah, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be some it's gonna be some stuff behind that. It ain't finna be just no ooh hoo hoo go to the funeral and bury them. No, it's gonna be a couple families that's finna boo hoo and bury their kids, bro. No, that, that is not how we go. When you drop somebody that's coming, that's on their way up, or they got a lot of pull, or they, it don't go like that, bro. Or somebody that's just love. It don't go like that. It's a lot of people that want to do that for them. Just off the strength of their name. Who knew was shot and f on Saturday afternoon and midday at the mall, which was May 31st. Yeah, that's it for the video, y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn on notification bell. That way when I post go live, you be the first to know. We'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Stay safe, stay sane, and let me know if y'all want to see more of these. I do them.